Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your deprogramming from the matrix. I'm your host. You are not being manipulated. You are not being abused. I'm not trying to get inside your pants. I'm trying to wake you up, woman. I'm trying to wake you up, man. I'm not trying to take your wife. I'm not trying to brainwash your husband. I don't have a cult. I'm not a threat to you. Stop chasing me, officer. You people are about to hear a spiritual woman from Europe. This woman has spirituality. She doesn't have a sexuality for me, however, but she did say something interesting that, you know, in our next life, if we have one here, uh, she would be up for meeting up with me and maybe family or procreation. The fact is, it means something to me that she at least said that, even if my feelings are hurt for other reasons. She did not say that I couldn't share her content. But the sense that I get from a psychic perspective is to not show her face. So I started streaming and her face ended up being shown. I took it off. This is how you respect a spiritual woman or try to. Now we're going to turn this down just a little bit. And we're going to be monitoring. Um, I got, I brought a video up called spiral focus meditation. Um, and what, what I'm looking for, and maybe I need to make the video is like some sort of, um, a meditation in which, you know, you're seeing spiritual, ancient spiritual symbols and you're being activated. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to listen to this woman. I don't know her name. She has a stage name. We're not even going to mention the stage name, but my advice to her is just private all the content if you don't want to be a public person. But I would encourage and do encourage women to use YouTube, not pornography, to communicate with the world. From a psychic perspective, though, I do know that you have a carnal nature to you that does like the bad boy or the giant or the, you know, someone other than me. And that's fine. And so my encouragement for your spirituality is to try to see what it is that you can't see in certain men. And then I'm going to also look into my heart why I uh, place white women above brown women. And I'm going to try to heal that damage. Because maybe I'm going in the wrong direction for trying to reconnect with my mother's ethnicity. You know what I'm saying? And we know people of my father's ethnicity. We know they're not feeling me. So let's go ahead and show you what we have going on here. Are you ready? So we're going to start listening to her. Maybe let's just leave it for now on the black screen as we get warmed up because I want you to be in a meditative state of consciousness for this. All right. So we have the music and the music is almost a distraction, but we're going to leave a little there. Okay. And then we'll bring up the images later. So now I'm going to take myself and put it on mute, I'm not going to argue with her, and I'm going to click to random videos and you won't even know the titles of the videos. We're going to, we're going to click on one video. We'll do this for about an hour. It's 225. It's 225. That's symbolic. I see 2025 a lot. I see 225 a lot. I grew up at 22025 airport road. There are so many 225 symbolisms. It all adds up to nine. So does 144. So let's begin. ingredients or foreign ingredients I'm combining a virus I'm, I'm just going on to freaking biochemistry here I guess you could say and it, when you put a virus inside a protein and a protein is already likely to cause inflammation I'm no expert but from what I've read like it just mutates like the overall yeah, like let me manifest virus a woman as smart as her to have an effect that's on the body with an immune system that the child may suddenly become allergic to soy, corn, dairy, eggs, peanuts, etc. Those kind of things. And so that 
the virus encased within a protein which is used to transfer the virus. If you're already likely to be intolerant to the protein or the virus triggered the intolerance to the protein, imagine the disaster that does on your immune system. And people think allergies just happen in one area of the body. But at the end of the day, inflammation can occur in your brain if it goes past the, uh, the blood-brain barrier or I guess you could call it the gut barrier because some people, they have missing bacteria in their guts when they're born, especially on a modern diet, and the foreign viruses float around, or just the foreign foods you eat float around in your bloodstream, and if you're really unlucky, they float into your brain, and then you get wedged in your brain, and then your brain sees this information, and then people wonder why people suffer from things like autism or epilepsy. So yeah, that's my side tangent on I think because of the negative exchange between us, when I thought about her sexually, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop self-pleasure because I drove her away for even thinking sexual thoughts. And so I'm treating that as a lesson. I drove other Latinas away for thinking about them in an attractive way or even talking anti-sex while coveting sexual feelings. So we'll go back to listening to her, but here she is talking about the vax I, or talking about uh, something. Environment. Um the environment that we'll see if YouTube, YouTube, or parents YouTube be kind. Raise the child, or whether on, it's also what the parent does or doesn't do, if that makes sense. And there's studies that show a lack of uh, mother child bonding sort of create basically uh, this uh, inability to scan for. I think it's important for us to stare at the home symbol rather than the, the female figure, which I was actually automatically going to do. Well, because it could be the no. Child, it could be the parent. It could be. We're going to silence those thoughts. If they cannot learn to uh, mirror the parent's eye contact and body language, and the mother mirrors, if she's unable to mirror the child's eye contact and body language, um, it, it creates no ability to sort of. I guess you could say create an ego um, in the earliest stages or the concept of a self. Uh, like when you look I'm going to tell you the date of upload. And and I know I'm oversimplifying. What she's discussing. It, that's the only way I know how to explain Asperger's, it. Asperger's, narcissism, that self, fragmentation. Go through life, especially if you're more. Uh, child abuse, uh, energy, you high your lower energies. Um, uh, the root. Like you kind of identify with anything but human so i'm, I'm so looking at her in a neutral objects, things, way food, holding my number one like thank you, intellectual no, no, let, of we'll do that one. something no, wrong number, number with two. that but it seems to give the child the, uh, the adult person something Kuri, position from, one middle finger non-sexual they just they tend to become things like not always uh, but orders or ocd you have these comorbid Personality disorders, and they sort of just screen. create this giant mess, basically. And you don't know who you are because you never had a self, because you can never mirror um, yourself and see yourself in the parent, or the parent can see the child and the. I don't know if that makes sense, but without this mirroring in early infancy, I did make assumptions about her. The child could develop she made anything assumptions from about me. Okay, but focus, focus, bro. Anything from narcissism to I need to jump to another video. I'm drawn to look for another video. Uh, don't be strength. offended. There's nothing wrong with your video, but there is a deeper truth in what you're saying. We never... Okay, we're going to hear you talk about the Archons and pick up where we... Now, in your physical appearance, you are very attractive in some and then very unattractive in others. Like me. You have... Um, Lots of hair expressions. You're like a chameleon. And then you look extremely, extremely attractive and sexual in your videos with your boobs popping out. This is going to attract sexual thoughts. So you can't be looked at. You can't be looked at because you're so attractive. And that's why certain people around the world, they cover up. I don't think that you're living in a paradise where you can just show all of that flesh and not think that men are gonna, you know, be strongly attracted to you sexually. It's the type of planet that we're on. So you need to understand where my accusations come from regarding some of you, my, my listeners. 
It's like you and I at some are different species. We're talking about the Archons, but I'm really after them. Some of the people, I really wonder if they see the Archons in their sexuality, in their life. Um, this is a very, very sexual time, so it makes sense for people to be showing themselves. I'm showing myself, right? But then I'm going, what if I'm doing something wrong and I'm attracting bad people? Oh, uh, so you're... I can't believe I'm... Um, you're, you're attractive in a scientific doing this, way. No, in this or saying this because... Um, Great. Took you off ooh. screen and now we'll look at the own Yeah. Cell. You're talking about the Archons. She's talking about the Archons, everybody. Hey, everybody, they found a woman talking about the Archons. I'm apparently evil. And I'm apparently Archon controlled. Well, you cannot win, can you? So, I'm kind of pissed off. Because my channel... Okay, she does not like to be called Archon my videos control. And my blogs, everything I've done for the last 10 years has been on doing nothing but trying to show the truth on what is and um, instead I've just I've received a lot of attacks from trolls um, and uh, other other people Attacks for, uh, on godly people and churches and pastors is going around. Evil. Pastors are being targeted. Now, if I'm evil, so don't think there aren't some bad cops out there that are Billy targeting Gates. men trying to fight the trafficking of little girl. Oh, hilarious Clinton and co. Like, if I'm evil, then what the hell is the government or are the governments doing in each and every single country? That's why I don't get, like... When I was three, four years old, my own mother called me Hitler, Stalin, and Mussolini. I was too young to even understand such concepts. I was like, who's Hitler? Who's Stalin? Who's Mussolini? I later found out and thought, geez, I'm not like that. Like, I don't believe anybody deserves to be, like, tortured or killed or blah, blah, blah. That's just messed up. But uh, good old Billy Gates and uh, Melinda and co, well, they believe that some people are above others and those people are superior to other people. And if you haven't heard already, that is called eugenics. Nobody likes to talk about it. It's demonized, no one deals with it. But I found blogs and websites on this topic and it's been around since the dawn of time. It just so happens that some people believe some races are superior to others, which I do not believe in. Like, I, I don't really want to even think about that. Like, comparing apples to pears to pineapples is, is pointless. But to then decide that pineapples deserve to be gassed or the lemons deserve to be vaccinated or peaches must be eradicated is a form of eugenics. Don't you get it? Everything you have been taught in high school and college is essentially wrong. It's all about political correctness. It's all about appearances. It's all about virtue signaling. But it's never about what is right. What is truly right beyond appearances. What is right in times of desperation. And what is right despite what others say. I'm sure Gandhi made a quote on that. Something about like standing your own ground when everyone's against you. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, like, basically pissed off. Because here I am, a nobody YouTuber. I'm a nobody, and I just want to tell the truth without being censored. Because apparently anything you say that is too controversial will get you taken down. And in this day and age, that could be anything, considering uh, YouTube and... A bazillion other apps owned by Googly and Co. I can't speak the truth. 
and if you're familiar with something called shadow banning, that is a thing. And I've experienced it nearly a decade before people started to complain about it. Even before David Dyke. Yes, I'm using silly names. I'm using code words somewhat. So I don't get censored. But I'm just doing what rhymes and what's, what is the most coherent. But I've been talking about shadow banning before David Dyke before a lot of these conspiracy theorists, I have been shadow banned and I was told to take it to the who. Now let's just say I'm talking about the ban, the who, which my own mother personally met. But I'm not going to get into that story tonight. Um, yeah. So my dad was in the music industry and my mom just kind of kept bumping into famous people randomly because back in the 80s, everybody could just walk into famous people. Nowadays, the divide between famous people and normal people is this big. It just doesn't exist. Like there is no, you can't just like hang out with anybody anymore. You can't just be of this class hanging out with that class. So we've sort of, the West is now on a subtle level, has sort of become a self-fulfilling prophecy where they emulate the Indian caste system, essentially, you know, the differences between the Brahmins and uh, the people at the bottom, I forgot what they call them, but you get the idea, right? And why can I speak so much on this? Because I'm biracial. And I have a very uh, confusing mulatto background, which most of you don't give a damn about. Neither do I, but I have done enough research and extensive studies on different cultures to know that uh, caste systems still exist. The glass ceiling still exists. And that if there's such a thing as racism, it's not obvious. It, it, it's, it's not like nobody points fingers and say, oh, you know, so-and-so is that color. Oh, let's mock them. It is never obvious. It's, it's far from obvious. And you know what's disgusting and hypocritical is if myself or a friend of mine who is um, bi biracial also, if, if you dye your hair platinum blonde, guess what happens? Yeah. People yeah. smile at you and stores people are super polite Many black to you. people they hold the doors open their hair for, you. for that reason they tell you how amazing you look i said i wasn't going to interrupt but i'm going to compliment her they want to hang I'm out sorry with you. they laugh they giggle i called you they white. Coo. but when you have jet black hair i'm sorry hairy jet black you just eyebrows look white. i forgot uh bordering I onto didn't a monobrow you. because let's okay, just say I'm you sorry. inherited some really weird genes where you naturally have a monobrow and you have to pluck your goddamn monobrow um, then, um, then all of a sudden, Grounding people the root would chakra, the the scowl at you, Clearing look extremely out the brain, serious towards you, attacking negative don't hold forms, doors open them. for you, and certainly you do not smile at you. But the minute you dye hair platinum blonde, or any other ridiculous color for that matter, people are just so nice. She, she, it's her hair is blonde though. <laughs> Like the way hair is blonde, people treat you purple, on the basis uh, of your dress <laughs> and your hair Pokemon? color and your skin color is so absurd, absolutely absurd. It's 2021. Wait, should I go to the UK? No, about they wouldn't let bacteria the UK. No, and that, that, no, other things no, they would not are let. affecting our lives. Mm. Whilst meanwhile, the economy is being crashed. Maybe purposely. Dare I say it? But I'm not allowed to say that because apparently saying that makes me the bad guy. I'm wrong for saying something, you know, for each economic crash, right? For every war, Things get worse. they were done on purpose to make money. Google we're Petrodollar. Investigating the depth of this Do I have to like, like say this to you? Apparently me saying all these key uh, terms makes me evil or an archon or makes me uh, <laughs> a spy, God forbid, you know? Or fed, I've been mistaken for fed. What an absolute joke. 
I actually I asked her permission if I could take sexual thoughts in my about her. She may have thought lowly of me for being nice. Because men don't I've ask permission. What communist countries do the men do. that she dates I've ask seen permission? How live in different not. countries. I've traveled the world. I'm a nice guy. My friends, I ask permission almost all my friends to astrally the UK have sex with were her. Not even, uh, She's like, uh, English, yeah, but were technically you're like my dad. I guess you could say immigrants. Yeah. But did I see them as that? No, I saw them as individual human beings. So that's how she will be seen. I don't not pretty. judge people. With her boobs out, we will not look at her image. Where they come from and who they are, we'll look their at the races, spiral, or their classes, or how much money they earn, or how much money they don't earn, and who they descend from. Because apparently, I've been told I descend from William the Conqueror and Blue Bloods. So, okay. uh, by that standard, okay. I am supposed to have some special elite background. Uh -huh. But I have I, nothing, yeah. nothing to show for it. How do you I know that? It's it, called being raised in poverty. First world poverty. Yeah. I suspect similar I'm to my mother. In that I'm able to say this right now. I suspect as I'm similar to my grandparents. And hopefully, the Nagels, the I'll Muslims. be able to upload this without being attacked. But just so you know, there are certain people online that either get paid or through some strange. Look at decide when to leave the video and go to a new one. Feel compelled to attack people who tell the truth. They guard their own way. They don't. Yeah, they guard their own videos, so they're not content creators. They don't do anything. They will even give themselves crazy right. A lot names, of people that like do attacking Smith, don't create content, or if they create content, it's like attack that, content. Like they're living in the matrix. That's not like, good content. And then they will attack you, and they'll they'll stab you where it hurts. They'll pick and they'll pick and they'll pick. What happens if you keep, like, hitting a donkey or poking a donkey over and over again, or a horse? Eventually, it's going to kick you. Visualizing you the, uh... Consider that. The noise in my head calming, and... Torture does not out work the head, on high-functioning individuals. Good luck with that. Seriously. Then if anybody the ever, chakras, like, uh, researches uh, the abilities and, and seven of people layers that are high-functioning, autistic seven layers um, of the aura. individuals, so watching the spiral, to brainwash listening them to the woman. is immensely hard. How do I know this? Listening because to the music, I am one, and I read about others, because they are hyper-aware of normy culture and the social norm of how they brainwash people, whether it be in religion, society, schools, jobs. And you don't have to be autistic to notice that, honestly. All you have to be is more aware, just conscious enough to notice that something is not quite right in this society. So okay. Being unfamiliar with just certain forward. world religions. Again, I've traveled the world. Most of my friends came from different cultures and backgrounds. I don't have any anybody I can sort of really relate to on a close level, but I mean, apart from maybe like a few friends, like there's really close in it, and even then, can I can I prove them as real? I don't know. So. I guess I'm just feeling insecure. But yeah, I'm I'm annoyed. And now she did offer to give me money for something. I'm not sure what she's seeking. But I just told her that my feelings were hurt for feeling that I'm an ugly short brown man. And even though I don't mean to hurt her feelings by calling her white, she's she's white. She she fits she might be biracial and have gifts. But she's an attractive. She is an attractive white female. All right. Um, who's biracial, who may have gifts and understand the archons because of the programming within her biology and her awareness.
This is uh, something to do with inner child. This is definitely ASMR. I need my headphones for this. happy to send her healing energy just if you if you're listening fine but you may have unsubscribed because I, I cast you all out what is going on with the David Icke thing uh, they are showing ads on your channel they are taking advantage of your channel you don't even have monetization they're taking advantage of you something else i i don't know so the whole uh, video came down and just before the video came down um i noticed it had about uh nearly a million views um it had far more comments and views um than i imagined and now since it came off stream or it's not live anymore all the comments are vanishing and now there's only like maybe i don't know like hardly any views anymore so it's like gone down massively and i think that's rather suspicious um and also i've noticed that every time i try and make a video on these topics i cannot upload them it won't upload if it does upload my videos aren't seen and visible so if i talk about stupid stuff then my videos upload fine. If I talk about anything that's too weird and out there, my views then just plummet to nothing, essentially. So if you are watching this right now, then please leave a comment and a like, and even a subscribe, just because I'm sick of everything going down right now. Um, so I was hoping this channel was going to be uh not a backup channel but more of a supporting channel i suppose um hmm this is pretty bad um yeah this is worse than worse than world war ii um yeah we're screwed uh essentially uh freedom of speech is now dead my dears that's how bad it is i want to tell you that i created a protection um, thing for a, a local and it was not well, well received or I don't know how she's going to receive it. It's probably going to get thrown in the trash. I guess you just don't do things like that for people you don't know. It's seen as uh, creepy. Uh, I, I, you are a beautiful woman. There's nothing wrong with being born with perfectly shaped uh, bodies. But in the clothing and attire that you have going on, we'll, we'll go for this one where you're not trying to look attractive at all and you have a very unattractive shirt on and hair. So we'll listen and we're going at random to, and we're, um, what are you talking about here? Humor is, uh, nobody's funny anymore. That's true. I guess I, I'm trying to like backtrack now. I was talking about, goodness me. Concepts. Concepts? Which concepts? Like basically, now yeah. things. There we go. We want to be yeah. in a. I can't a remember. Prayer. I have a total block. Like, it's really annoying. Position. I read that, like, many years ago, that, like, I've seen people do it. Like, I've seen. Uh, when people just, like, have this, like, blank, like, slightly glazed over look, and it's all. Like, they, they, they just look like they have the thousand mile stare and then not necessarily obviously traumatized or anything they just like zone out completely now this is something for her to think about she's fine being public on the internet but not fine with me promoting her right so unless she tells me so because pe people lust for her so maybe you should consider my advice and and cover up a little and maybe do podcasts is uh and it used to happen so frequently is uh i prefer the daydreaming one that was nice i used to i used to daydream too much to a point i don't i don't think i remembered anything from 
lessons like round boring. I, I'm not um, going to lecture you on things that were discussed. And then the teacher, uh, but teacher my brain wants to start firing back at what I call kids. maybe uh, programming if you if you want that. I but have no idea. And I'd be like, what? Like, we're going to end this at 33 minutes and let this be a sampler. And if you people liked, receive you know, this I well learning, with likes, like learning, I'll be back with more. Imagining space I, like I, I, I invited the White House for like people having a woman to this channel, like more appealing than who is a, a pharmacist. We're just basically being bailed out of the situation, dealing with the reality that is the video that is zoning out. I had was this like everything would go sort of blurry. Like, I'd lose focus, and I'd be kind of aware of it, and then it would, everything would feel sort of like soft focus, everything would go blurry, but my eyes felt like they had an extra sort of transparent, like, um, lid, like making everything, yeah, blurry, so my eyes would go out of focus, and nothing This is try a little like challenging to listen to? Like this pure emptiness. And I actually realized that it's, um, I, I don't know if I researched this or I came across this whilst looking up things on meditation and spirituality quite a few years ago. Maybe it was Wikipedia, I ended up on. I, I think it would be good to work with her but on the, the Dion Fortune for, stuff like, completely because she's in the like UK and she might be able to connect with Glastonbury. Over, like, there's nothing going through your head. You're like, Glastonbury, Glastonbury. Nothing is happening. And if you're smart enough, you know nothing is happening.